Hi guys, happy um, Tuesday. I am doing today like a base of products that I don't really reach for. So I'm not saying like they're not great. Like if I don't like something, I'm honestly probably gonna like throw it away or not have it in like my main like makeup bin. But these are things that like often fall to the bottom of my bin. Um, and I just don't like reach for them. I don't like, rem they didn't leave a strong enough impression where I was like, I need to use that again, like tomorrow, but they're still good. I guess another way to say that would be like oldies, but goodies. Minus this, um, pretty fresh tinted moisturizer because I am still attempting to use it up while I can still pull this color off and I feel any sense of tan that I had fading so I have to continue to use it up because it's a good product I don't like things to go to waste I am using, or I did try out a different like moisturizer today. So it may end up affecting how products lay on my face. So we'll see about all that too. This is, I just have like a love hate relationship with this Morphe concealer. Um, I've liked it more so that I've started using like my fingers to blend out or a brush. Will I repurchase it? Probably not, to be honest. It's honestly just been kind of the only concealer I have in my collection since my e.l.f. one ran out, but I would definitely repurchase the e.l.f. one over this, so. You see me using it all the time, but again, it's just to like use it up because it's not terrible enough for me to like throw it away, but if I had something else, I probably would not be reaching for this. I'm hoping this, I have like a eye, like sensitive spot. I don't know if it's from like the eyeshadow I used yesterday, but I don't know. I didn't even wear it for long. So I may end up kind of doing no eyeshadow today just so that I don't further irritate my eye. There's nothing like crazy wrong with it. It just is like a little like dry patch kind of randomly. So Okay, and I'm using my LA Loose bronzer, but it's the same story as my tinted moisturizer. I don't know how much longer I'll be able to use this tone as we go into fall. So this is me just trying to use that up. It's not a reflection on my love or like for this product. I do really like it, but I'm just not gonna be able to continue to use it much longer. It's very, very glowy, bronzy. I really like it. I know it looks like I have a crazy amount on, but trust the process. It like ends up blending into the skin like really beautifully. And it leaves you very glowy if you are into that.
Okay. Yep. I'm realizing it. I'm realizing I don't have my eyebrow thing. I don't know where it's at. Moving on. Okay, I can't find my spoolie, but I'm just gonna add a little bit with this e.l.f. brow pencil. This was completely not planned as a product, so disregard this part. Just wanted to give my eyebrows something. Okay. Moving on. This number seven blush I think it's just a little too new for me the first one that I got it's like cherry blossom like really really impressed me and then I got this shade coral rose and I'm just not feeling it as much I guess I just expected it to be a little more like pigmented. The other one is, is very light, but it's a very light color. So to me, it like matched what it, the packaging and what it was telling me. But I don't know. I don't know. It's pretty and I really like number seven blushes, but... I mean, it's honestly looking pretty good. Maybe I just need to give it some more chance. Maybe I haven't been applying enough. I mean, it's pretty. But like I told you, none of this is stuff that I would normally throw away. I like all of these products. I just don't always reach for them. I am still looking for the powder that like does for me what I see it do for people like where it's like so like blurring of your pores. This one kind of blurs a little bit, but it's crazy. I see like makeup influencers on TikTok and Instagram and all that. Like, and their powders, it looks like it's like literally magic. This powder, again, it's okay. I use it very frequently because I don't really have any other powders because it broke or who knows, but I haven't found that magic powder for me that like it blurs all of my imperfections. I'm still in the hunt. that I do not reach for is this essence blush in befitting I literally found this at like the bottom of my makeup bin 
again it's pretty but this did not like I mean like it's it's cute but it's nothing like really that special to me I feel like I'm just kind of like laughing at myself though because all these products are like looking really great together. So maybe I do need to start reaching for them more. But again, I'm not saying that these were not good. I'm just saying I don't always reach for them. I was going to use this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. It's great. I love it. It does what it's supposed to do. Super glittery. Um, but again, I want to kind of give my little eye, dry eye patch a rest and just do mascara today. Okay. Okay. If I'm doing a mascara that I would not like prefer to use or reach for it's this patrick ta one i just feel like the formula is a little like wet for me and it can get it doesn't always give me like the results i want like it a little bit already like flaked on the bottom right there Like, yes, I know I need to get an eyelash curler and I literally just keep forgetting. And it, it can do a good job, but it's not consistent. I'll have one day where I use it and I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks great. But then I use it again and then it's like clumpy or spidery. And another thing I judge mascaras on is how they come off. I think this is one where it's like it takes more effort to get it off. And I'm not a fan of like having a rub, rub, rub my like cleansing oil or cleansing balm. Okay, maybe... I should just do a video like this with all of my products because they're all like performing amazing today. Okay, I literally look like I don't know what I'm talking about because I feel like it is performing well today. Like, I do not know what is going on. I don't know if they were like, oh no, I'm on the cho chopping block. I better perform well. I do have a little bit of flakage up here. But it's definitely not a big deal today since I don't even have um, like eyeshadow on. Okay. What do we think? I think you can see definitely flaked like underneath also it's just one of those things like I hate it did get flake a little on the lash line as well I don't know if I have a Q-tip down here. Okay. It didn't really over on this side. I'm trying to see if I can just use my nail to get it or if I'm going to be like making it worse. Probably making it worse, but you get the you get the idea. So you know, 
That's what happens when I try and fix it. I've just made a mess of it all. Okay. It's somewhat better. But the, okay. It kind of showed its true colors, you see? Because it's like so wet, it kind of like gets everywhere. So for me, sometimes it's not worth the hassle. Sorry, I lost my lipstick. I had the perfect lipstick for this. Let me just come back and find this. <laughs> 